Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to this week's episode of our DIY Theater Room Makeover series. In this video, I'm gonna jump right in. I am mapping out the measurements for Ronnie's desired theater room chairs, you guys. He looked online and he found some that he was very interested in. And I am just mapping it out with painter's tape to see the spacing in our room because our room is not the largest room, but we do believe that we can fit six chairs if we do a riser with three chairs on the riser and then three chairs on the floor um, row as well. So that's what you see me doing here, just mapping it out with my tape measure and with some painter's tape because it's easy to remove and we are going to see if these measurements actually work out for our space. Okay guys, so I kind of marked off, now this line isn't straight, but obviously in a perfect world it will be once you actually build the riser. But this is what it's looking like because this is the full recline position of 65 inches this way. This line represents how wide the row of three chairs is. Um, obviously it will be centered in the center of the um, riser but just for purposes of actually seeing the riser this is pretty much what we're working with um, about a foot from the entrance to my filming studio and then the width over to the wall flush and then the row of three chairs will be in the center of the riser so this represents the chairs at full recline at 65 inches when they are not reclined at all um let me check the measurement on that okay so when they're not reclined at all it'll only be 43 so let's get a measurement on that now hold on you guys okay so when the chairs are in their seat position hold on you guys let me fold this over because this is, keeps coming up they are 43 inches um deep so that's about here. I mean, I left some inches away from the wall, but you'll have this much walk room space to get to the chairs when they're in their you know, upright positions. And then when they extend, fully extend, they'll go to the edge of the, what do you call it? The edge of the riser. And that's the way we're gonna have to do it because our room is not so huge. Um, and so, yeah, and then, Let's see, so if this is the edge of the riser, then the other row needs at least six inches from the edge of this to like fully recline, I believe, I don't know. Um, so those are just go, um, you know, on the regular floor. But I'm thinking this is a good blueprint of the riser, so now we just have to build it. And I know to build it, we'll be using like two by eights or two by tens or something like that, um, along with like plywood on the top and then insulation, I believe. But um, we'll see. But I think this is a good blueprint. Okay guys, so we just did some measuring and it turns out that my tape being off was really helpful. So we're gonna need, let's see, the length of the box or the width of the um, riser is going to be it's 142 inches but we took off three inches because each sideboard should be about an inch and a half if i'm not mistaken so that's three inches so we're going to get them to cut two two by tens at 139 inches 
and cut two two by tens at 68 inches to put on the ends. Once we get in, then we're gonna get four corner brackets as well to help make sure it's a 45 degree angle. And then um, once we get that, um, we're probably gonna have them measure I mean, measure them in the store and then, um, you know, get them to cut the center beams or um, the center two by tens as well for us. Um, I don't know how far apart they're supposed to be, so I'm gonna have to watch another YouTube video, but another channel um, did say to buy some insulation, just some loose insulation to push in there so that the sound doesn't bounce off of the riser. So this is our list. We have some gift cards to Lowe's, so we're gonna head to Lowe's and see what we can get. But we're gonna have them cut it for us because we have a smaller miter saw that's not gonna be easy to cut two by tens. So we're gonna try to get Lowe's to cut it for us. So you guys, let's go. Don't mind this, baby girl was down here yesterday <laughs> coloring on our papers. But um, yeah, so this is what is happening. And essentially the riser will have beams that go, I believe this way, like the length of them, something like that. And then you get the plywood to put on top. Um, and you also need the screws. So yeah, this is pretty much what we need. Okay guys, so now that we have all the wood pieces home, we are just putting them together to map out the outer perimeter of the riser in the space to make sure it's gonna work, to double check our cuts and the length and to make sure everything is going to work out in the space in the area that we want to put it in. Don't mind our little one, all of my parent subscribers know parent life is, you know, it's, it's real. So she's down there with us 90% of the time. Um, and here we are using a level um, and we also had to use like wood shims and stuff because we noticed that during this project after we removed the carpet padding for where the riser was going to go that our floors and our walls for that matter weren't exactly um, even and level. And so for this um, we had to use like wood shims and things to just make sure that the box that we were constructing was level and then when we do attach it to the wall in another episode we'll have to use wood shims but here we are um, just putting um, the screws in and um, we put three screws in each corner of the box we also use this triangle just to double check our 90 degree angles it was super helpful and only a few bucks from home depot
guys, just for reference, we've repeated this process four times in each of the corners. And then here we are using that same triangle. I don't know the technical term for it to just double check our 90 degree angles um, because it's really important that those are on point and um, intact for this riser, okay? Because it has to support the weight of all of the chairs plus the people that are gonna be sitting in the chairs and you don't want it to be uneven. The next step in the process is for us to install some L corner brackets in each of the um, four corners. And here, what you see me doing is double checking our measurements again. You guys measure five times and only you know cut and install once. But every 16 inches, I'm going to make a mark because that is where we're gonna put the um, inner boards for the support. So here are the L brackets that I mentioned before. We got these from Home Depot or Lowe's for just a few dollars each, but I saw on another YouTube video that those are helpful. Okay, you guys, hello, it's still Tuesday. It's still, what's today? February 8th. Okay, it's 4.41, so I'm taking a break. You guys, I've been working like crazy. My hair is a mess, but we kind of got, I'm headed to the bank because I got to get some cash out because one of Ronnie's, um, distant cousins she doesn't live locally but anyway she knows someone i think her sister-in-law does live locally so she hit him up like hey i see you guys are building your theater room and my sister-in-law is selling eight theater chairs you know and she sent the you know a screenshot of the post that her sister-in-law had put on facebook and she was like hey you know you may be interested you may not but um the chairs are going for 13.50 she has eight of them um, only two of them have something like like minor imperfections, so we we haven't seen what they are yet. But originally, our design was for six chairs, but we're hoping that these chairs, because they're connective in twos, we're hoping that all eight of them will fit. But Ronnie is like, hey, listen, we'll make it work in here. Like, we'll make it work for thirteen fifty because, like I told you, the chairs that he was looking at online, um, they were five thousand, like fifty one hundred dollars for only six of them um so yeah these ones um will be good to like hold us over until you know we decide to upgrade the theater room chairs which will be no time soon these ones are um what do you call it they are like uh power recliners um so they do need an electrical source but i don't think they have the blue lights like the ones online that he um originally wanted but he's like oh my god like if she's gonna give me eight chairs for 1350 I'm gonna take it and so he got somebody to come and help him and then she only lives like maybe like 10 minutes down the road from us so tonight we're gonna go check out the chairs and hopefully um, buy them and bring them home and he got um, someone to help him you know lift them because I already told him like I ain't doing it he had me using a miter saw today cutting wood and stuff with my nails and everything which I'm not scared of no power um, tools but lifting th heavy theater chairs is not my that ain't my judge so he got somebody and he said he's just gonna pay him a hundred dollars or whatever to help him move the chairs so we'll do that tonight I have to um, go to the bank now to get the cash out because the bank is about to close in 15 minutes okay you guys I don't know if I ever actually showed you but we got the deal of a lifetime on these theater chairs they are not electric they are manual so there's a button in between you know in between them and you push the button and um they recline back and the the headrest goes back as well we got these off facebook marketplace technically but we actually knew someone who knew the person that was selling them so we kind of got the inside scoop like hey i see you guys doing your theater room um one of my um sister my sister-in-law is selling her theater chairs because they're upgrading them so i think it's a good buy you guys should check it out they ended up living literally right down the street from us. And so they sold us all eight of these chairs for $1,300. And if you guys know anything about theater chairs, you barely could get one for a thousand. Okay. And we got eight for $1,300. So this is excellent. So we did redo the riser and I'll show you guys that we made it longer because at first we were building it to put three chairs on it and then three chairs on the actual floor but because we got the eight chairs he wanted to try to use the eight chairs and so this is just a little update for you guys um we redid the riser the only thing that we needed to do was get new side boards we got them longer about 
about a foot longer and that should allow us to sit four on this and then we'll put four on the floor. So yesterday we were rebuilding the riser. We actually went back to Lowe's and got more wood cut for the um, inside because we had kind of miscalculated the length that we needed and we were trying to make it work and it just wasn't working. So once we replaced the long um, side ones to make it a foot longer, we just went ahead and bit the bullet and got them to recut the inside beams. So we screwed on, I wanna say we screwed on three or four of them on this side and then the drill died. So as you can see, he was charging the drill. And so today when he gets home, we're going to go ahead and drill the rest of these in and then push it back in place because it goes up against the wall. Um, he did start painting yesterday. We have to do a second coat. Um, and cause you can see like some spots need it. But the reason he started painting was because he wants to be able to mount and hang the TV. One, he wants to make sure there's nothing wrong with it. And two, he wants to make sure, um, you know, that it's in the right position as far as when we put the riser and stuff like that in. We did get the quote from the electrician. Um, and so we have to finish, you know, building the riser and then we're going to do some of the painting and then we can get the electrician in here to do their work. We did not recognize you guys or realize that we need this room on its own circuit. So the estimate for the electricity um, work did come back a little higher than what we expected, but it's definitely worth it because again, we have to put um, everything in here on its own circuit. We're gonna have speakers in here, a huge TV. We're gonna have recessed lighting. We're gonna have wall sconces. We have, we're gonna have electricity in the riser because eventually he does want to upgrade the theater chairs to the um, powered ones that have like the lights and you just press a button and they recline on their own and stuff like that. So not the manual ones. So we have to have electricity ran through the riser um, on the top of it and on the side for the second row or the first row, you know, so they'll have a place to be plugged in as well. And then you guys know the um, snack bar area as well. It's going to have a mini fridge. It's probably going to have a microwave. So we have to have outlets in here as well. And he just recommended that we use, um, you know, put our own, put an extra circuit for this room only because if not, it's going to keep tripping everything. So that's the update for you guys. Um, we are going to probably do the second coat of paint and then he said we're going to need some more. This is the paint that we use that we painted the whole house. It's called Classic Gray by Bayer. Um, this is the eggshell finish. So this is going to be the main color of the room. I already love it. Once you put the second coat on, it'll be great. And then we're going to do a really dark gray contrasting color. We're going to paint the ceiling the dark gray. We're going to paint all of the door trim and the doors the dark gray. We're also going to change out the hardware to, you know, silver and not the brass. And then all of the baseboards, as well as the trim molding that's gonna go on the walls, as well as the crown molding that's gonna go around the ceiling is going to be painted black. So it'll be dark gray, this gray, and black. Those are the colors. And then when we find the carpet, it'll, you know, it'll it'll coordinate with those colors. But that's the plan. The wall sconce lighting that I have in my cart, I think I'm gonna order it from Amazon. We have to order that before the electrician comes because he needs those to be able to install them. Um, so the ones I have in my car are black and I think that will work because again, the base molding or the um, baseboards and the crown molding and also the trim molding that's gonna be on the walls, that's gonna be black as well. So they'll have some black accents. As far as the snack bar, you guys, I'm just talking you through everything. As far as the snack bar, I am, thinking about or I'm planning to purchase unfinished cabinets and we're going to paint them the dark gray color. So the same dark gray that's going to be on the ceiling um, is going and also inside of the trim boxes on the walls will be dark gray. So once we put a trim box up, the trim will be itself will be black, but then inside of the boxes will be the dark gray and then the black wall sconces. So I'm really excited about that. We are gonna get rid of this um, light here and the electrician is going to put in recess lighting for us. So it'll be more of a movie theater feel, but I'm really, really proud of the riser that we did. We did have to make this over two times, like I said, but totally worth it. Now we know how to do it. It is a pretty big riser for the space. I mean, it's gonna come pretty close to 
like where that outlet is, but that's because we wanted to be able to use the extra chair. So instead of doing three chairs, we're gonna do four. Now when he upgrades and gets his electric chairs or the powered chairs, he probably will still only do six because those are wider chairs and they're just bigger, more luxurious. But for right now, we wanted to at least put the room together with what we have, which are the chairs we bought from Facebook Marketplace. We're so pleased with them, we're happy about them, and we wanna be able to use them and get as many people in here as possible. So that meant we had to make this a little bit longer, no biggie. Um, and we do have wood left over for you know different projects around the house but i just wanted to show you guys that um this is where we are right now he's going to come home and do the second coat of paint and then i think he's going to get somebody at some point maybe this weekend to come over and help him bring down the tv and mount it because buttons is no help for that that tv is heavy and i barely even helped him get it into the front door which is basically where it's been sitting for two weeks in the living room because i can't move it <laughs> so this is where we are guys Okay guys, let's get back to work. So Ronnie came home and we are finishing up securing the inner boards with screws. Now we did use, um, I believe we used uh, wood screws for this. I, I showed a clip of us in the store purchasing them um, and they worked out really great. For each board, we put three screws in both sides and here we're doing that right now. And you guys, I think it's important to stress the, the importance of the fact that we are not professionals, okay? We're not contractors. We just use YouTube to learn how to do things and then we work together and we figure it out. So far, it has saved us a ton of money and we're really happy with the results thus far. But for things that we are not comfortable with doing, like electricity or installing the carpet and all that other stuff, um, we, do, we are gonna hire out for that. But the power of YouTube, you guys, it is a wealth of knowledge. Knowledge. So I highly encourage you guys, especially for DIY projects, to just get on YouTube, do some searching, you know, have a research day and see if you can't figure it out. Okay guys, so we have come to the end of the second episode of our DIY theater room series. You guys, we finished the riser. Like I mentioned before, we did have to build it twice, but that was to accommodate for a killer deal on those theater room chairs. So we were not mad at all. It was totally worth it. We still saved hundreds of dollars doing this ourselves. You guys stay tuned for episode three where we, we will be painting the entire room. Um, I'll share with you the color palette in the swatches and then make sure you're following me on Instagram because they get the sneak peeks, you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next next video. Bye!